We have been lucky enough to camp at tons of campgrounds all around Indiana, as well as some in New Mexico. Um, in New Mexico, we lived there for three years and we camped at Butte Lake. Do you remember Elephant that? Butte. Elephant, Elephant Butte Lake. Was it Lake? Mm -hmm. Okay. Elephant Butte, yeah, it was a lake. Okay. Yes. That was another camping fail. Yeah, that was. Do you remember? <laughs> Again, I was pregnant. Um, <laughs> it wasn't so it much was a fail. Mother's as Day weekend. Much as it was just the weather conditions. Um, where we camped was actually like basically right there on the water. I mean, our there weren't campsites per se. Like you just pulled up and you, uh, I can't remember. Found what a spot. Called. Yeah. Uh, you just found a spot. Yeah. Like so, Boondock. So uh, we set up our tent, um, went to put the stakes in and realized that it was just sand. I mean, there was nothing to, to hold sand it down. Sand and clay. Yeah, yeah. So No trees anywhere. Yeah, nothing. Just wide open. Beautiful spot, you know. Mm -hmm. Thought it was going to be great. Um, well, as the evening wore on, the, the wind started to pick up. And um, at one point, um, in the middle of the night, as we were asleep, the wind picked up so much that it literally felt like we were going to blow away. I mean, had the, the, the combined weight between the two of us not been great enough, <laughs> the there's if we'd walked out of the tent at any point it would have been gone yeah um, in New Mexico we also went to the Hamas <clears throat> mountains yeah. um, we went there when it was that super snowy Memorial weekend mm -hmm. and then we also went with a group of friends um, and our and Tucker um, when he was gosh nine ten months old yeah, yeah. Um, it was such it's such a beautiful area um, actually, I think we camped there twice. Three times, actually, because yeah. we went with another group as well. Yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, my big takeaways from those trips are just the, the ruggedness of it, just that beautiful ruggedness of the camping. Um, the skies at night, just... Skies are spectacular. Yeah, no light pollution. You're already at a higher altitude. Everything was just magnified that much. Um, mm -hmm. it, was, it was great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think, like, one time we stayed in an area that didn't have actual campsites. You just like, you know, stayed on the side of the road basically. Um, and then the other time we stayed on a, at a campground. It was really fun. Yeah. Um, as far as Indiana goes. So for us, I would say my favorite is probably McCormick's Creek State Park. Um, I'm from Spencer, so I have been there probably two dozen times now um, camping through the years. Um, I love hiking to Wolf Cave. Um, in the fall, they have hay rides for Halloween. They have Halloween trick-or-treating for the kids, which is great. Um, we have been there so many times. Um, everything's very accessible. Uh, the bathrooms are, are close by, playgrounds close by. The campsites are a great size. Um, it's nice and shady everywhere, so that's great. You've got a pool in the summer for when it's hot. I believe all of their campsites have that concrete pad, I think. So they're already level, which is one of the nice things about yeah. on this Creek. Yeah. Um, yeah, the sites themselves are a little small, but like you've got trees everywhere. You can put a hammock up. Um, you feel kind of private to your neighbors because of those trees. Um, so we definitely recommend Cormus Creek. What about you? Um, yeah, I think as far as state parks go, that probably is my favorite as well, uh, at least of those that we've been to so far. Um, you know, the state parks, you typically don't have that full hookup like you get. Um, so one of my favorite places we've actually camped um, is a little campground called Sugar Creek. Um, we just went there for the first time last year, and it's a small private campground, um, full hookups on every site, a uh, beautiful creek that runs through it, and it was about a 25 minute drive to uh, Turkey Run or Shades State Parks. Um, so just a nice, quiet, private campground. Um, I think part of the appeal to me was also the timing of the year. Uh, we went during the fall. Um, Love fall camping. Yeah, fall camp is the best. Um, so went during the fall, it was a little bit cooler. I think it was late or mid to late October. So mm -hmm. not very many people camping. Um, so I think that was kind of nice as well for a smaller campground and then you know, only a few people that were camping, it kind of felt like we had the whole place for ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. We also Sugar had the Creek. hay rides mm -hmm. for kids. Um, yeah, Sugar Creek was great. I think it was our first private campground was, yeah. that we went to, so we were really nervous. We didn't know what to expect, um, but we liked the idea of having like a full hookup. That was the first time that we've ever had one. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, it was great. The owners are super friendly. Um, the playground was really nice. They had the river, like Troy said, you know, right next to um, the campground. So it was wonderful. We loved it. The property is gorgeous. Um, Lake Monroe has to be one of my favorites just because, again, we've been there so many times. We know it backwards and forwards. Um, I think there's uh, some nostalgia there for us both. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, because we had our very first camping experience when we were in a pup tent um, till you know, just a few weeks ago when we went and, you know, had this wonderful camper to utilize. So the girls. Well, it was a girls weekend, but he set it up for us and came and picked us up afterwards. So <laughs> got some points, husband points for that one. Um, but yeah, the lake's there. It's a beautiful lake. If you've um, not been, we definitely recommend Lake Monroe. Um, it's the largest lake in Indiana. So uh, it's just gorgeous. There are so many things to do. Um, they have lots of activities for kids, um, great playground. So yeah, we really enjoy it. And I think the, the last one that I would probably recommend, and I think we both would agree on this one, um, as far as a private campground that we both really liked is Lake Rudolph. Um, oh, yeah. We love Holiday World. Uh, we had tent camp there before. So I think it was last year we ventured down there for the first time with our camper. and um, Second time. You're right. First time with the camper. First time yeah. with the camper. Second time camping there, but first with the camper. Third time camping there. Third time, okay. Because we went when Bryson was a newborn. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was our horrible experience. Right. <laughs> Never take a newborn camping. <laughs> Never take a newborn camping when it's 105 degrees. <laughs> oh, we were trying to uh, uh, have Tucker, you know, enjoy some big brother time. Um, and do a special trip for him when we had Bryson, who was only about a month old at the time. Thought it would be a great idea to tent camp um, in about 100 degree heat. <laughs> so that was, it was pretty, uh, pretty miserable, but um, <laughs> not Lake Rudolph's fault no. or Holiday World's fault. We love Lake Rudolph. Um, they allow you to rent golf carts, which we always do. We it, do. It's pricey. It's pricey, but it's worth it yeah, because it's such a large campground yeah. and pretty much everybody there does rent a golf cart. So um, it's fun just to get out and drive around. They do a golf cart parade. Um, so cool. Yeah. So cool. And people get so into it. You, you, there are times where we were just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe people, people, people like, did that. People decorate their entire golf cart. Um, I mean, they'll make it into different like shapes and animals and so get into UPS themes. Truck last year. Yeah, UPS <laughs> truck. Yeah, an ice cream truck. Yeah. So last year we were a zombie uh, golf cart. We thought we'd get into the holiday or Halloween spirit. Mm -hmm. So a little early, so we did a zombie golf cart. But um, yeah, it's just so fun. It's super safe. Everyone's super friendly. Um, the campsites are amazing. Full hookup. Full hookup. Full hookup? No, it's not. Maybe not all of them, but the ones that we have been on. Water and sewer? Mm -hmm. Huh. I don't remember that. They have mini golf? Yep. Kids played mini golf. I mean, when we weren't at Holiday World, they were playing mini golf. It's at the a campground. pretty central location, so mm -hmm. no matter where you are, you're not going to be far from the mini golf. Yeah, yeah. And then, too, just like driving around, they have tons of, of cabins that you can drive through, trailers, like full time campers, I want to say they use as like little rentals and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just gorgeous. Hol yeah, cabins. Um, but then the best part is if you're going to Holiday World, they have shuttles. So we would take the shuttle to the park. Uh, come back for lunch so we would not spend a bunch of money there at the park. Mm -hmm. um, eat lunch, rest for a while, go back to the park for the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And the uh, shuttle, like in one minute, you're at the park. Right. Yeah, so it's great. Dog is back there scooting his butt. <laughs> Milo. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, Lake Rudolph is one of our favorite places. We try to go every other year um, because we really enjoy it. Um, We've been to Clifty Falls. That was our first Clifty Falls trip this year. Um, we really enjoyed it. I thought that, um, you know, I feel like we've been kind of spoiled with McCormick's Creek because it is, you know, so close and um, we've grown up going there. But uh, Clifty Falls was really nice. The hiking was great. Uh, the sites were great. It was a rainy weekend, so unfortunately we didn't get to see enough of the park mm -hmm. um, or hiking as much as we would have liked, but. Um, but yeah, what we saw at the park was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, we would definitely go back to Cliffy Falls. And the best part is you're close to, um, what was the town? Uh, Madison. Madison, Indiana, 
was the town. It was maybe three minutes away from the campground. Cute, cute town. Um, we wish we had had time to actually go to the um, center of the town because yeah, I've heard it's, it's gorgeous. Like a riverfront city or yeah. riverfront town. We didn't make it down to the river. Yeah, yeah, no. But when we were there, we went to that farm. Winery. The winery farm. What was it called? All right, we'll we'll find it. Um, <laughs> But they had um, a winery on site. And they I destroyed my toe with the chair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they had a winery, a restaurant, um, a greenhouse where you could buy plants and flowers. So we really enjoyed it. I'm gonna start that over. Bryson, please stop touching it and move away. You might go look at that. I think he's moved it to. <coughs> Allow Tucker, you to ring please golf stop. Cards. Hold on. Start over. Please stop. You're being obnoxious. Yeah, okay. Thank you. His parents don't. I didn't even say anything. What about his parents? All right. His parents never said anything. Is it? I, I, I told him, has your parents even said anything about it? He said, oh, no.